Welcome to West Coast Elements. I'm gonna teach you how to do a bear hang. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to West Coast Elements. How was that? Good. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to West Coast Elements. My name is Benton, and today I'm gonna show you one of my favorite things to do. Um, we're gonna put this up in the tree, and we're gonna protect our food from bears. My favorite thing to do is eat the food, not the actual protecting part. Yeah. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to do a bear hang. The reason we want to do a bear hang is because in the backcountry, there's a lot of wildlife. We buy all of this food, we pack it, we plant it, and it's a real shame when wildlife gets a hold of it and we don't have it to eat, but also it's not good for the animals and it keeps them coming back to our campsites. Today, I'm going to show you a pulley system that I learned when I was in school. I'm educated. I have my sources. To do the pulley system, you're going to need a few things. First of all, you're gonna need a stuff sack or a bag that is secure enough to hold your food. I recommend a stuff sack that is a little bit more sturdy than this. A waterproof stuff sack is usually a little bit better than something that is nylon material. After you've had your dinner, you're gonna to wanna to put your food into your stuff sack. <laughs> oh. like so. Usually your food bag is gonna be a lot bigger and a lot heavier than this. The purpose of the pulley system is to distribute the weight so that it's not putting so much pressure and weight. The purpose of the pulley system is to distribute the weight so that we're not putting so much... I need to think of a word before I start saying the sentence. <laughs> um, we're not putting so much... Tension. Tension. The purpose of the pulley system is to distribute the weight so that we're not putting so much tension on the tree branch. There are so many ways to do a bear hang or a bear cache, but this is the way that I was taught and the way that I've always done it. It hasn't failed me since, so that is the reason I'm showing it to you today. You're going to need to take one of your carabiners and attach it to your sack. The next part is the most challenging. We have to get this rope over the tree branch. The example I'm showing you right now is not accurate in terms of height and the distance that you're going to want your food to be away from the tree. Bears can climb trees and they can also cut rope. But if you follow the height that I'm gonna put in the diagram over here, there will be a less likely chance of any of those things happening. An easy way to get your rope, I say easy, it's not. A way to get your rope over the tree is to bundle up a rock to add some weight to it and simply toss the rock over the branch. Easy, right? Where's the rock? Found a rock. A few things can go wrong with this. You uh, lose your rope if it's not long enough. You lose your rock if you throw it poorly or the rock loses the rope and it comes down and hits you. Make sure you are mindful of your surroundings and ask your friends to either do it for you or just get out of the way. I'm going to hold the bottom of the rope down on this side and toss the other side over that way. It didn't work. Step two, try again. We now have equal length of rope hanging down from either side of the tree branch. Perfect. I'm going to take one side of the rope and attach it to my carabiner. Not that knot. Stop trying to impress your friends and tie a regular knot. Me, can't tie a regular knot. <laughs> Oh my gosh. If I do it like this first. Yeah. Done. Perfect. You just need a basic knot to attach it to your first carabiner. This carabiner is going to hang down and act as our pulley. <laughs> I'm going to slightly raise this up so that I've got some leverage to attach the other rope to. We call this one milking the cow. <laughs> now this rope is what our food is actually going to be attached to. We thread it through. I raise it up a little bit higher. Now you can see my rope dangle. Now I'm going to attach my carabiner with my food onto our second rope that we just fastened. Mm. Pretty good, pretty good. Now a few things can go wrong. I can let go of this, or I could let go of this. Either way, everything's gonna fall down. Don't let go. So this 
rope that we first attached brings up the carabiner holding the food and this white rope is the one that's directly attached to the food. Now we have to tie both of them off. The first rope that we use, you have the option to tie it off before fastening your food. I like to do both of them at the same time so that you can get a good feel and a good option for what height you actually want your food to sit at. This is a really bad bear hang. I'm embarrassed. Embarrassed? We can't show this. <laughs> you should attach it to something da down here. <laughs> Can we restart? I've got my carabiner at a comfortable height now that I can attach the food bag to it. Before attaching the food to this and bringing it down with any weight, I want to make sure that I tie this point off to a tree or to another branch. Now I've got the rope that's attached to the food and I can pull it through and pull my food bag up. Now holding on to both ropes here. Basically the idea is that you want to pull your food up into empty space where the bear can't. If the bear were to climb up, it would be too far this way to reach. If the bear went up even higher over across the branch, it would be too far down for them to reach as well. Once both ropes are at a comfortable height, now we tie them both off. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hide your face is all red. <laughs> Does, did it actually, like, nick me? It definitely hit you in the face. Wow. In all seriousness, I will put a few actual proper bear hang, bear cache, bear safety, wildlife safety resources down in the description. If that's what you came here for, I encourage you to please take a look. And if you do have any questions about how to do an actual bear cache, I can hopefully answer some of those questions for you down in the comments. If you want some actual tips about safety, what to bring when you're outside, we do have a playlist over here of a few hiking tips and gear videos, gear reviews, lots to come. Stay tuned. Otherwise, make sure to hit the like button if you haven't already, and we will see you next time. Bye.